Hi, I wanted to give an update on the progress I've made on my lens calibration plugin. Uh, I made a lot of improvements uh, on the usability and uh, fixed a lot of bugs uh, and sort of refactored the UI as well. Uh, and uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, very quickly demonstrate uh, how uh, the plugin works and its capabilities. Um, so uh, let's just dive right in. Okay, so after you've installed the plugin, you come in here and you show plugin content in the content browser. That will show uh, all the different stuff that's in each plugin. Uh, and then I'm going to go into Blueprints and select uh, my Lens Solver Editor widget. Uh, and then this is currently the new UI for the tool. So first of all, I'm going to show, uh, create a new lens right here. And I'm going to call it Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which is what I have. Uh, and then I'll create that. And it's going to create a bunch of uh, data assets and materials. Uh, and then here, we're going to switch the UI context to the new lens. And then I'm going to press this button to update the UI. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to switch the input media type to media bundle. Uh, and then I'm going to select a pre-made media bundle that I made before. Um, and then um, there's already an instance of uh, a deck link media bundle actor in the scene. So I'm going to toggle this so that the system will trigger the uh, stream to start uh, when we start calibration. Um, and then um, uh, so I'm going to set my expected snapshot count, which is the number of images I want the stream to take for calibration, which I'm going to say 60. And then I'm going to set the interval frequency, which is the rate at which snapshots of the stream are taken uh, to one second. Uh, the zoom level is set to zero currently because I have the lens zoomed all the way out at 12 millimeters. And then, uh, and then I'm going to check this box right here and set the path of where I want my snapshot images um, to be written to if I need to recalibrate with that set of images. All right, so let's start the calibration process. So I'm going to open a, the uh, output log so I'm aware of what's happening in the background. Uh, and then I'm going to um, click Start Workers. You can see the workers were created here. And then I'm going to hit uh, Start uh, Calibration and Insert Results at the bottom here. Um, and then I'm going to move the camera around. All right, so if we inspect our results here, we can see that we have a, it estimated a focal length of 12 millimeters, which is really close. Uh, gave us uh, the sensor width and sensor height and the field of view. Uh, but if we go to our um, calibration results right here, we can inspect the uh, lens distortion volume, which looks correct. Uh, and then you can go in here and look at the calibration results as well, uh, as well as the distortion coefficients, um, the number of images that were used, etc. cetera. Um, so if, uh, now we can just hit play uh, and it should be applying the uh, lens distortion correction. So let me, uh, yeah, so we can see we have uh, straight lines here or semi straight lines and we can go in and uh, tweak this uh, by going to our results and finding the distortion correction map and just tweaking these numbers right here. And this is like a multiplier so it allows you to uh, further tweak your distortion correction maps. Great, so our first uh, calibration was successful. So now we're gonna move on to 50% uh, zoom, which should be about 36 millimeters on our uh, camera. 
Uh, so I'm going to go into the input settings and I'm going to uh, increase the snapshot count since we're um, we're going to be zoomed in and it'll be a little more difficult to aim on the calibration pattern. So I'm going to set that this to about 80. Uh, and then I'm going to set the zoom level to 0 0.5, 50%. Uh, and then I'm going to change the output path to uh, a filter called 2, uh, which is, you know, um, the second zoom level. Now I'm going to hit uh, clear the log here, hit start workers, and start the calibration. All right, so let's inspect our results. Uh, we can see the focal length is about 35 millimeters. That's what it's estimated, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, and then uh, field of view, uh, sensor width, sensor height, same. Um, and we can go in here and inspect our distortion volume. Um, so we can see here that this one is a little more distorted than this one. Um, so uh, this is probably 12 millimeter, and then this is probably 36-ish. Uh, uh, so let's move on to uh, calibrating the last zoom level. So I'm going to go back to my input. I'm going to set the. I'm going to take some more snapshots just uh, because we're zoomed all the way in. It's going to be hard to focus on the calibration pattern. Then I'm going to set the zoom level to one because that's our last zoom level. And then I'm going to, we're going to send the textures to a folder called three. Um, yeah. All right, so the camera's ready to go. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to clear my output log and then let's start the workers and start the calibration. Uh, and then switch the output. So I'm going to go and set the camera back to 12 millimeters on the tripod and we'll test the first level uh, of, um, of our calibration. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll zoom out to 50%, test uh, that level, and then zoom all the way out and test the final level and tweak it if we need to. So I put the camera at 12 millimeters and I'm going to set the current focal length to 12 and hit play. So it looks pr pretty good. There's still some roundness there. So let's go into our, um, let's make sure we're at 12. Yep, we're at 12. Uh, let's tweak this a little more, like 0.5-ish maybe. No, too much, too much. The camera's also slanted slightly. Three. Maybe we went too far. Yeah, we're going the wrong way, I think. That looks that looks pretty straight. Um yeah, okay. So let's go on to the next one. Um so I'm gonna move the camera. And I'm going to zoom in. And then we're going to set our virtual focal length to 36. So yeah, that looks pretty straight. We can keep tweaking it. Like, it's not really much distortion at that level in this, in this lens. Yeah, okay. Um, so now let's zoom all the way in. There's 60 millimeters. And then let's set our virtual focal length. 
yeah, to 60. There we go. So you can also see that it's uh, also driving the, um, uh, yeah, so you can see the full range of the distortion, correction, interpolation there. Um, yeah, so let's go all the way back to 12. And uh, yeah, we have semi straight, isn't this still blurry? Let's let lines look, um, tweak it a little more. Uh, maybe the wrong way. Nine. The outer lines here are really obvious. Okay. Um, great. Um, so yeah, that demonstrates uh, how to um, yeah uh, calibrate the distortion correction maps for every zoom level or as many slices as you want throughout the zoom, uh, as well as uh, the focal length um, uh, as well, which we can see right right here. Uh, it's it's driving the cinema camera um, values. Um, if we inspect that, you can see it right here, current focal length uh, and sensor width, sensor height. Um, yeah, um, so that's um, the end of the demonstration. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that very fast demonstration of the plugin. Um, there's a lot of tweaking that goes on in, uh, to get this right. So uh, I have another video that's longer uh, that demonstrates all of the edge cases and uh, techniques to improve your calibration process. And I'm going to put that video in the, in the description. Um, um, yeah, thanks.